Hi folks, and welcome to another Frugal Radio review video. For the last week, I've been testing this broadsword Slim Jim ladder line antenna equipped with a BNC connector. These ladder line Slim Jims are often used in the amateur radio community as easy to transport portable 2 meter and 70 centimeter antennas. In fact, I've even used a similar version made by N9TIX as my portable VHF antenna when traveling. The version I'm testing here is the VHF version, which is approximately 130 centimeters in length. It is equipped with 5 meters of coax, and I must confess to being rather disappointed to see that it was RG174. I would have preferred to see RG6 or even RG58. I usually avoid RG174 at all costs because it loses a lot of signal and picks up more interference than other coax. Nevertheless, I positioned the antenna in the loft next to my reference antenna, a homemade bow tie that has good receive performance across the VHF and UHF bands. I used a laptop running two RTL SDR version 3 dongles. The SDR on the left was connected to the broadsword Slim Jim, the other being connected to my homemade antenna. With this Slim Jim being tuned for the airband range, I expected it to perform well there, and it certainly did. It receives stronger signals across the entire band than my reference antenna. I also tested it on a marine band, VHF high and UHF, just to see if it would work outside of its design frequencies. The signal to noise ratio demonstrates which antenna was receiving the best on any given frequency. Address 18, source of recontact me now on 277.62. Uh, broken, say again, frequency please, address 18. Address 18, that's 277.62. 277.62, that's 277, that's 277. The results show that the VHF Slim Jim performs well in the band it was designed for, VHF Airband. While I could recommend it for VHF Air and the Marine Band as well, I would not recommend it for any other frequencies, even the military airband. Once over 164 MHz, performance was found to drop significantly. Signals would still be received, but at a much lower signal to noise ratio, making it more difficult to monitor. The antenna also exhibited a drop in performance in the FM broadcast band. This is not necessarily a bad thing. In fact, if you have powerful FM transmitters in your city, having poor FM broadcast performance would actually help you receive VHF frequencies better. 
So in my conclusion, the VHF Broadsword Slim Jim is a frugal antenna that will get you good reception on civilian airband frequencies and up into the marine band. However, you would want a different antenna to monitor any UHF frequencies and even high band PMR. In the next video, we will be returning to the 2020 SDR guide. Thanks for joining in today, and I'll see you next time. This is Frugal Radio, over and out.